This is what's left of my pond. The uh, liner had a leak in it, so I just decided to rip it out and try something different. I decided I was going to build a pondless fountain, uh, much smaller and easier to maintain. This video shows you how I did it. I filled in this hole and then uh, dug a hole in the fill and put a five gallon bucket in and backfilled it all the way to the rim of the bucket. This is going to be the base of the uh, pondless fountain. This is the pump I'll be using. It's the one I was using in my pond. It's uh, 325 gallons per hour at one foot. Maximum height about seven feet. This one here is about 16 inches high with that attachment. But to go into the bucket and come out at a decent height, I need to replace that pipe with something a little bit longer. I'll be using a piece of CPVC. Uh, the outside diameter is a little bit smaller than what goes in here. So I just wrap some electrical tape around the ends so it'll fit in these openings. So. And there. So now it's a little bit taller, it'll stick out of the bucket better. So in the garage here I have another bucket that I'm using to uh, check how everything fits. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take the pump, put it inside the bucket. Oops. I don't know if you can see that. But it fits pretty good. Pretty tight. Uh, that's a built-in filter on the end of it, by the way. And now what we're going to do is... Uh, when the bucket's in the ground, we don't want to fill the whole thing up with rocks or pebbles. It'll just be too much. So I'm going to put a, a false bottom on here using a part of another bucket. So what I need to do is determine the height of the false bottom. And here I'm going up about 10 inches just to come over the, uh, the fittings on the pump. Here I'm cutting a bucket 10 inches from the bottom, and this is going to be used for the false bottom in the fountain. And it's, it's about 10 inches high. Also cut in these relief cuts so the bucket can be compressed. This will be going in here, upside down, like so. And those holes help to, <laughs> for the draining. I'll add some more holes. And that's it. That's my false bottom. Now I'll be drilling a hole somewhere around here to, uh, to allow this pipe to come through. And I'll be using this little hole saw. I'll also put uh, some more drainage holes in that false bottom. To figure out where the hole is going, uh, I just measure from the edge of the bucket to the middle of the pipe and it's eh, around four and a quarter inches. And then this way eh, about six inches. So there's that hole and some extra holes for drainage. 
Also made a cutout for the uh, filter. And on the other side for the cord. And here it is inside the bucket. Now I uh, recycled a piece of the old palm liner and put some slits in it into the bucket. Let's see. Uh, now what I'll do is I'll slide the uh, the pump and the false bottom into it. I'm going to need two hands to do this, so I'll show you what it looks like when it, once it's in place. So there it is. Now we'll just uh, push it down. Boop. And there it is. False bottom. And the pipe is sticking up probably about, about a foot off of the uh, edge. So, now what I'll do is, uh, I was just going to start throwing the gravel in there, <clears throat> but it's still, I don't need to fill all that up. So what I have here is a piece of half inch hardware cloth. Put that over there. And then I have uh, two more screens just to help keep out smaller debris. So, well, that's what it looks like. I also decided to put the uh, cord under the uh, liner. Now I'll just start putting the uh, rocks around the edge and put in the uh, pebbles and other rocks. Be back soon.